last time. Uh, you'll see I, I changed some stuff so I don't have a glowing R head. I don't know if that's for the best. Or whatever. Okay. What were we doing last time? I don't know, but that's a pretty map. Look at that shit. Look at it. Oh, water. Hmm. It's upside down. That's cute. Oh yeah, we were gonna do something productive. Oh, we had a cave to go into... to... find a moth priest's knife. Alright, whatever, man. I'm not questioning it. Although, I will change my field of view to be prettier. Oh, it's kinda, it's kinda dark in this picture. I got a preview of my webcam up here. I found out something. Um, if you're watching a previous video, I... Why is the music normal? Oh, this looks pretty damn cool. Not very impressive, is it? If this ends up being a wasted trip, your friend Dexy and I are gonna have some words when we get back. What? This place is pretty to me. You silly anal person. But anyway... What was I talking about? Hmm... I don't remember. See, so yeah, I changed my field of view. I'm looking for a moth priest knife. Oh! The magic! Oh, look at the little moths! Well, I'm going to be stupid and go straight to the arrow. Thank you, Skyrim. Give me a nice fat dir. Gather bark. Oh. Well, there's a tree. There's a tree. Scraping bark off. Hope the moths like that bark as much as Dexian said they would. Attract. Okay, now I just get the. Hey. Look at them. They've definitely taken a liking to you. I just get to go find moths. Yay. Uh, this game definitely has its soothing qualities. I think this is like the embodiment of that in a quest. <coughs> can't talk apparently I've been eating too much damn protein lately which I'm sort of joking about sort of not embarrassingly enough okay I got four swarms already haha <laughs> that sounds like forsworn yeah Sorry. Really didn't think I was going the right way, but apparently this was intended. There, I'm gonna make that group over there my last set of moths. Whoa. I think that might have been what we were waiting for. Let's head back up there and see if we can read the scrolls. <laughs> you know the column of light? Is that the column of light? Alright. Oh, actually, I gotta pull it out and read it. How cute is that? Oh, you know what? I love this setup. I said it before, but having that timer on there, it's beautiful. Maybe it'll stop me from ending things early. Elder Scroll Blood? 
Oh yeah. What's happening? I don't know what's happening right now. That... I'm trying to point the right direction. That's creepy. That was terrifying. Are you okay? I almost thought I lost you there. You went as white as the snow. I'm always that white. It's called not going outside. I never trusted those damn scrolls. Who knows what those things could have done to you? Just look at Dex again. What about Ariel's bow? Do you know where we can find it? Darkfall Cave. Then it's almost over. We can finally put an end to this ridiculous prophecy. Where is this Darkfall Cave? Then let's get going. I want to get there before my father has a chance to track us down. Alright. What do you know about Ariel's bow? Because I've seen it mentioned before, I just don't remember what it is. Not much. If you read any history, it shows up from time to time, but it's a hard thing to track. As far as I know, though, it's never been held by a vampire. That would be a new one. Ariel is one of the elven gods. He's with the rest of them in Aetherius. The way I've heard it, the sun represents the connection from our world to theirs. Supposedly, the bow draws its energy from the sun itself, which is why it shows up in that prophecy. In that part, I don't know. Once we have it, hopefully it'll be obvious. You what just happened? Uh, lots of bad things. Ow. I can't even see him. Where? Don't, they don't have much of a chance against us, do they? While I'm disintegrating everything. Oh yeah, the magic. I noticed that I was weaker on average with my, my casting, my destruction. I wasn't real upset about it or anything, I just noticed that, well, there's this thing called invested magic. Um, I mean, I just got it straight off of the, uh, work, uh, Steam Workshop. I don't, I don't bother with Skyrim Nexus. I, I did my time with all that for more wind and oblivion. I'm not gonna, not gonna lack utilization on the glorious tool that Valve and Bethesda have bestowed on us. Anyway. So yeah, Invested Magic. It takes into account your skill level at all the magic schools. So if I had better alteration, conjuration, restor well I have good restoration, but you get the idea. If I had other magic schools leveled higher uh i would be altogether uh stronger see i fixed my shouts they're no longer near instant i'm not going to be using that uh quick shout stuff anyway although it was fun i mean it cuts off uh cooldown time by a lot as well as making the shout go off faster from you holding down the button. Dark Fall Cave. Okay, I should have paid attention. Uh there it is. It's pretty
pretty close to one of the orc stronghold camp things. I don't know what you call them. Whatever. It's not a big deal. Dragon bone weapons. Wait. Did I add that? Or did one of my... Did I add it with a mod or did Bethesda add it? That's what I'm lacking comprehension of here. That moon is huge. You know, uh, I frequent a few websites that have some some Elder Scrolls sections on them. Well, one of them I went to is usually pretty pretty supportive of things. Uh, oh, let me move you a little bit. Pretty supportive of. Well, Skyrim, in general. I mean, look at it, it's... It's a pretty game. I think you can see that flash in my face when I do it. It's kind of funny. Rabbit! But anyway... Oh! <gasps> Rabbit sniping. I'm a terrible person. Nord. Anyway, it's a pretty game. Saw somebody hating on uh, Bethesda saying they can't do immersion. But it wasn't in the context of environment, it was in the context of gameplay and uh, altogether like cohesion with the game world. Which I guess makes sense. Like, there's so much breadth to these games that... I mean... There's only so much you could do to... affect your surroundings. Oh. Man... Spiders do not bother me. But... Jump scares. Dude. Man, that's loud. I'm glad my spells give off light. This would be dark as shit. I mean, it still is, but oh my god. Something's not right here. Be careful. I think we may be in for some trouble. Oh, really? I think it's time for some candlelight. I don't need no pickaxe. I got lightning. Wait, what are we supposed to be doing here? Falling off? Screw it. This is different. Oh my god, no! Come on. Kadoosh. Yeah. I knew I heard something. Man, I feel bad for the people with arachnophobia. Cause this is gonna tear their shit apart. Oh, uh, she's... Serana? Oh no! Oh, I was afraid she was just gonna keep attacking me. That's why I'm trying to be careful. Who's there? Well, just gonna spam it till it dies. And not be able to see anything that happens. That's okay. I'm glad I turned on my candlelight, and I'm glad these mods let me do so. 
This is a lot less tedious than the original setup of the game. I love this. I can light the way with a lightning. I don't know why they would want to set up camp, but I do know I want this expensive stuff they left. Troll fat. Sure, I'll take the bolts. You know. I still plan on continuing my Morrowind playthrough. I might go back and play Oblivion one day. Just wait. Uh... I don't remember what it was called. A group of bandits. I don't even think that was the right note. Note. Oh, jeez. No, it wasn't. Me. Sorting by value. Okay. Darkfall cave note. There we go. Sister, I know you'll come find me, but it'll be too late. If you find this letter, get out of the Forsaken Cave as soon as possible. We're fools to think we could live so close to the spiders. Should have headed back to camp with you. After we place torches down here, so I guess it is supposed to be dark thought these trolls would be different. Okay, trolls, it's not spiders. Matter of time before one of the trolls decides to finish me off. Alright, so we're about to get trolled. She's gonna step on that. Yep. Retard. Come here, trolls. Man, this is gonna be scary. Come here. I don't know if it's supposed to be this damn dark. I got my lightning ball. Stay on your guard. Oh yeah. See that? That's me. A light trolls up. I wish my finishing moves would work sometimes, you know. That would be pretty cool. Ah, oh, I love you, candlelight. You make me so happy. Uh, man. Sometimes I don't want to... Whoa, what was that? I don't want to take all what's in the chest and then I realize, hey, I actually do want it. Let's go this way. Or not. There's no point. I wonder if my light's gonna give me a wing. What's that? I can feel some kind of power from it. Come forward. You have nothing to fear here. Alright. 
Whoa. This is bright. This is bright. Oh, there you go. I can see your face, man. I am Knight Paladin Gelibor. Welcome to the Great Chantry of Oriel. This cave is a temple to Ariel. Oriel, Oriel, Alkosh, Akatosh. So many different names for the sovereign of the Snow Elves. Uh oh. Snow Elves. It's a Snow Elf. I prefer Snow Elf. The name Falmer usually holds a negative meaning to most travelers. Those twisted creatures you call Falmer, I call the Betrayed. Of course, you're here for Oriel's bow. Why else would you be here? I can help you get it, but first, I must have your assistance. What type of assistance? I need you to kill Archcurate Vertha, my brother. Kill your brother? The kinship between us is gone. I don't understand what he's become, but he's no longer the brother I once knew. It was the betrayed. They did something to him. I just don't know why Oriel would allow this to happen. Elder Scrolls V, we finally get to see some real Snow Elf Falmer. They swept into the Chantry without warning, and began killing everyone without pause. The Chantry was a place of peaceful worship. I led a small group of paladins, but we were no match for the Betrayed's sheer numbers. They slaughtered everyone, and stormed the inner sanctum where I believe they corrupted Vertha. He's alive. I've seen him, but something's wrong. He never looks as though he's in pain or under duress. He just stands there and watches, as though waiting. Leaving the Way Shrines unguarded would be violating my sacred duty as a Knight Paladin of Oriel and an assault on the Betrayed guarding the Inner Sanctum would only end with my death. Yes, let me show you. Okay. Go for it, man. Mr. Beastly Snow Elf. This structure is known as a way shrine. They were used for meditation and for transport when the Chantry was a place of enlightenment. Prelates of these shrines were charged with teaching the mantras of Oriel to our initiates. What's that basin in the center, Signify? Once the initiate completed his mantras, he'd dip a ceremonial ewer in the basin of the way shrine's center and proceed to the next way shrine. So these initiates had to lug around the heavy nature. Once the Initiate's enlightenment was complete, he'd bring the Ewer to the Chantry's inner sanctum. Pouring the contents of the Ewer into the sacred basin of the sanctum would allow him to enter for an audience with the Arch Curate himself. All that just to end up dumping it out? It makes no sense to me. It's symbolic. I don't expect you to understand. So, let's get this straight. We need to do all that nonsense to get into the temple so we can kill your brother and claim Ariel's bow. I know how it all sounds, but if there was another way, I'd have done it long ago. The only way to get to my brother is by following in the Initiate's footsteps and traveling from Way Shrine to Way Shrine, just as they did. The first lay at the end of Darkfall Passage, a cavern that represents the absence of enlightenment. Okay. There are five in total, spread far apart across the Chantry. Massive caves. caves. Oh no. The Chantry encompasses far more than a few caves, as you'll soon discover. But before I send you on your way, you'll need the Initiate's Ewer. What does that even mean? Once you've located a Way Shrine, there'll be a Spectral Prelate tending to it. They will allow you to draw the waters from the Shrine's Basin, as if you've been enlightened. Oh, Alright. This may be the last time we're able to converse. If you have any questions before you leave, I suggest you ask them. Otherwise, all I can do now is grant you my hopes for a safe journey. Huh. Okay. S 
survive Darkfall Passage. Where is that over there? Well, that's actually inside. Huh. It's a neat effect. Questions? I expected as much. Yep, who are the spectral plots? They're ghosts of the Predates. Snow Elf priests that tended the Way Shrines before being slaughtered by the betrayed. Through the grace of Audiel, they were restored to their spectral form to enable them to continue their duties. I'm afraid in their current form, they still believe the Chantry to be an active center of worship. They won't respond to you in any way other than believing that you're an initiate and you're undertaking the journey to the inner sanctum. Okay. That's a bit weird. This is, or was, the epicenter of our religion. Most of the Snow Elf people worshipped Oriel. The Chantry was constructed near the beginning of the First Era to provide a retreat for those that wished to become enlightened. Our Empire had temples to some of the other deities. Trinimac, Cerebain, Yefrey, and Finister rounded out the rest. But those temples paled in comparison to the glory of the Chantry and its way shrines. What are you doing? She likes him, apparently. Well, look at his muscles. Look at them sinewy muscles. Oh yes. They were an important part of the process here. They represented the steps the Initiates took on the path to total enlightenment. Sadly, the magic used to construct these wonders were lost long before I arrived here. Who were your people? Tell me more. While well, Serana does circles around you. We were you. once a wealthy and prosperous society that occupied a portion of Skyrim. Unfortunately, we were constantly at war with the Nords, who claimed the land as their ancestral home. In a manner of speaking, we had always maintained an uneasy alliance with the underground dwelling dwarves, and when faced with extinction, we turned to them for help. Surprisingly, they agreed to protect us, but demanded a terrible price. The blinding of our race. Yikes. There were splinter groups that resisted the agreement, and even some that sought alternate alliances. But when it was all said and done, those elves were either slaughtered, vanished, or gave up and took the dwarves' bargain. That's pretty awful. Yeah, genocide and slavery. I've often asked myself that very same question. The blinding of my race was supposedly accomplished with a toxin. Certainly not enough to devolve them into the sad and twisted beings they've become. Why weren't the Snow Elves here affected? The Chantry is quite isolated, so it took some time for word of the Dwarf Zoffa to reach us here. By the time the compact had been completed, it was too late for us to even attempt to intervene. Correct. We only numbered perhaps a hundred at the time, so our presence remained a secret to the Dwarves and the Nords. Ironically, our undoing came at the hands of our own people. The Betrayed. Yes. They swarmed the Chantry in vast numbers until we were completely overrun. We never really stood a chance. I assumed that the Arch Curate was corrupted by them when they found a way to breach the Inner Sanctum. Vertha and myself are the only two Snow Elves that remain. That's so sad. So, Knight Paladin Gelibor? I don't know how to pronounce it. And Virther. May Oriel light your path. They're the last two. But hey, finally get to see a Snow Elf, and he is one muscly fuck. They look strange. Questions? I expected as much. Yeah, why is your hair so terrible? But anyway. Gotta stop it here, We're running up on 30 minutes now. Next time we'll go do our little trial things. See if we can trick some people. Okay. So stay tuned. We're gonna keep keep doing our snow elf thing here. See you later.